Hello, I'm Lindsay Kimball from Hillsborough County Economic Development, and you're watching Tampa Bay Community Network. I'm Bill Hodges and this is Spotlight on Government and I have Lindsay Kimball with me today, Director of Hillsborough Economic Development. Yes, I'm pleased to be here. Thank you for having me. That's a big title. It is, it is. It's a, it's a lot of work to do, but it's one that I enjoy. You know, looking at you, you look so very young to me, oh. but then just so does everybody else. <laughs> Where did you come from somewhere else or is this your home? or? How did you get into this position? Sure, it's been a great journey. Um, I'm actually a Tampa native. So really? I, I am, I'm one of the few and the proud. And uh, graduated from Hillsborough High School, went to USF. Um, I did go away for a little bit, but it was just a short while. I was in Denver for a year working um, and just had to come back home. I missed it so much. We live in such a beautiful, wonderful community. Um, and this job, to be able to be in the position that I have, working to help businesses and residents to find quality jobs in our community is just a dream and I'm very blessed. You know, I opened the way I did. I, I knew that going in <laughs> and I opened the way I did because one of the things about economic development is that we have a fabulous mill called USF that's putting out talent year after year after year and yet many of them do go somewhere else. It's true. They're um, young, they're <clears throat> vital, they're great ideas, they're ready to work. It's true, it's true. You know, I believe that we are turning the tide now in our community, and we have a lot of great job opportunities here for those, those very talented young people coming out of USF. Um, we have burgeoning fields of cybersecurity, which is just a hot topic for every, really? every company right now. There's not just, I guess there's, it is. There's not just, there's not just IT <clears throat> companies anymore what company doesn't have an IT component and security and security of your information is just more and more important as the recent retail breaches have shown us and, and bank breaches. And so, yet we're going to talk about a hacker convention. Coming oh up, yeah, right? I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> please don't think I'm schizophrenic, but um, you know, we, uh, you know, it's very important and you know, we're creating a lot of good quality jobs in business management as well for, you know, there's a lot of high quality individuals um, coming out of USF also a uh, burgeoning biosciences. Uh, arena in the area. We recently announced Bristol Myers Squibb creating um, almost 600 new jobs in our community, high wage jobs. So there, there's just a lot to be um, be proud of and to um, to be excited about in Hillsborough County. To be honest with you, I thought when I saw that you were going to be my guest, we were going to talk about going all over the country and trying to bring companies back to here. Because I thought that would be the major part of what you do. But that's not really the major part, is it? No, actually it's not. Um, I would say that uh, recruitment of new industries is about 10% of, um, of what my department works on day to day. I've got a lot of hardworking team members that support our mission to bring economic prosperity to the community. Um, really, you know, even the statistics bear out that the vast majority of our jobs are going to be created by our small businesses, by our entrepreneurs, and by larger companies that are already here and established. It's much easier, you know, a, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So we focused a lot of our resources on um, empowering people with an entrepreneurial drive um, to help our assets that are already here in the community be stronger. And, um, you know, we believe that that um, is actually a higher return investment. I think one of the neat things of having talked with you is that we're really lucky to have you. When I, when I look at it, and there are only about 1,500 certified economic developers in the country, you happen to carry that certification. Yes. That puts you in pretty tall cotton. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. 
um, you know, it, it, it shows um, in my mind, you know, that a, a strong commitment to our profession. I've been in the economic development profession for 15 years now in various municipalities and in private consulting in the state of Florida and um, state of Colorado. So I'm, you know, I, it was, um, it was a, a no-brainer for me in the progression of my career to continue to um, have a, a, an outward sign of my commitment to the profession. I had Lynn Schultz on last time talking about the Entrepreneurial Center, and I guess that falls under your umbrella. Is that yes. not true? Yes, it does. Yes, sir. Um, it, uh, it falls under our umbrella. Um, we are very pleased with the response from the community that we've gotten to the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center, which is located at 2101 East Palm Avenue in Ybor City. Um, we welcome everyone to come down and view all of the amazing services that you can um, you can take advantage of at the center. Um, we've got nearly two dozen nonprofit partners, um, nonprofit partners who are focused on helping entrepreneurs and small businesses to access capital. Um, we have the SBA there co-located. We have SCORE, um, HBIF, which is a Hispanic Business Initiative Fund. We have um, the Tampa Bay Black Business Investment Corporation. We have um, Gulf Coast Capital. We have um, resources to help you um, enter new markets. We have mentors that you can avail yourself of. Um, and it's amazing because it's a place where you'll run into to other people who are excited and driven and who um, you know want to create their own their own business and bring their ideas to life one thing that i wanted to share with you is that we recently partnered with the kaufman foundation which is a national um, entrepreneur foundation very probably one of the highest regarded uh, in the country along with the knight foundation and the Kaufman Foundation has started a franchise of a series called One Million Cups, so One Million Cups of Coffee, um, and it's every Wednesday at 9 a.m. at the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center. Again, we welcome everyone down to be a part of that. Um, we have uh, companies are selected to pitch, so it's kind of like if you've seen the show Shark Tank. Uh -huh. um, it's Shark Tank with a little less bite than, <laughs> than Shark Tank. They can be mean. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's not always in the most constructive right. ways, right? Um, so we are always trying to be positive and constructive. And we have mentors. There might be funders in the audience. We do have um, funders who come to these events. So again, it's every single Wednesday at 9 o'clock on the dot at the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center. Uh, we would love to have the community involved in One Million Cups. So if you have an idea, if you're an entrepreneur, even if you're a wannapreneur and you don't know quite yet what you want to do, um, we have amazing resources there. Um, also, our educational institutions, um, HCC has an amazing entrepreneurial um, program right now. You can do it for credit or they have certificate and they have um, classes. They have um, especially a certification track focused for veterans. So um, veterans transitioning out of the military, um, um, boots in entrepreneurialism. So they've got a lot of great programs right now and, and they have quite a presence at the you entrepreneur. Do you have to be a Hillsborough resident to be able to use this center? Um, it, it, is, it is for Hillsborough County residents, yes. So you have to actually be a resident. The reason I asked that, I have a friend getting all the military. Uh -huh. He'll be in Pinellas County. Um, you know what? We um, we don't check your ID at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. Um, it is intended to uh, to help Hillsborough County residents. But you know what? Our doors are open because if you start your business in Hillsborough County, that's just a big win for us, uh, regardless of where you live. We certainly have many business owners that might reside somewhere else, but their operations are in Hillsborough County. So we're here to help them. One of the things came up was I recommended one of the people I'm coaching uh -huh. to go to the classes. Very good. And well, he thank had you. to take time off from work yeah. on Monday mornings for three weeks okay. in order to attend the classes. And I'm wondering if there shouldn't be maybe a little more emphasis mm -hmm. on doing some evening things mm -hmm and maybe some weekend things, or maybe there is, and we just don't know it yet. Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, that, that is a, a very, very valid comment, and we are working to bring on more staff to the ECC. We've recently hired two staff members to help us um, keep the ECC open during extended hours. Um, you know, I, I mentioned we, we launched about four months ago, four to five months ago, um, and 
we always knew we needed to be flexible. We needed to listen to the market demand and what the people wanted in the community. So we are working with our partners as well. And um, you know, in fact, an example of that would be um, on Sunday, this, just this past Sunday, we offered um, a food truck owners course. Oh, really? So specially designed for <clears throat> food truck owners. We had 19 of them show up at the ECC and for this course. what would they learn? They're going to learn um, quickly some of the um, health department rules and regulations okay. for, for trucks, which is very valuable, yeah. Keep them out of jail. Yes. <laughs> um, so we cover some of the nuts and bolts. Um, also, marketing, um, social media, which is very important for food trucks. People need to know where you are, so mobile is very important to oh, them. Oh, yes. Twitter so, especially. Yes, absolutely. Twitter, Facebook. Um, so we, we teach um, a, a brief, an abbreviated series, and of course, if those food truck owners would like to come back and learn more about any one of those subjects, financing, marketing, um, any sort of you know, growing the business, then they can come back and we do offer longer, um, longer courses, more in-depth courses. And I'd like to also let everyone know, your viewers know, that we do offer free, free, one-on-one <laughs> -on -one consulting. That's a good word. It's a good that word. word. It's a good word. Free one-on-one -on -one consulting with um, SBDC certified consultants at the ECC. We have folks um, who have specialty areas and they work as a team. So if you come in and you've got a, a business and your, your primary concern is around financing that business, we have a finance expert. And then maybe also say, well, you know, my, uh, my, my business partner's been telling me we need to export. Well, here, we, we have another team member who specializes in export assistance. So we, we can do those, um, those handoffs. So when that, you talk mm -hmm. about team members, are these people who are actually employed or are they volunteering? Or um, Our SPDC consultants are employees of okay. the county. So they're full-time um, certified by the state of Florida consultants. So they have no financial interest in, no. in getting someone to go this direction or go with this bank or another no. bank. It's all something. No. Yeah. No, and um, that's actually, that's a good um, ethics question that we we hold that in very high regard. Um, certainly no consultant is, is ever supposed to um, steer a client one way or the other um, and also not um, to be doing any consulting on the side or anything like that. So we have very strict um, ethics policy. There are other areas of your operation though that you want to talk about? One of our most successful programs has been the EDI2 program. So that's the Economic Development Innovation Initiative program, EDI2. Um, it is, um, it was conceived to be a way to provide support at a grassroots level to our technology entrepreneurs, technology startup culture and entrepreneurs in the community. So what that means is um, the Board of County Commissioners of Hillsborough County allocated funds so that we can um, administer a program whereby nonprofits can apply for grant funding, and um, and you know we go through a series of, of funding rounds, but it's so that they can fund events that will help the community to um, to build up um, the the networking opportunities for let's say founders, marketers, coders all the people that you would need just to have your, to start your business. Um, we also have educational opportunities that are funded. Um, some recent examples have been with um, computer mentors. Um, the Harmon STEM School in East Tampa has been a recipient of funding. Um, uh, Roboticon, which a lot of students in the area um, have, have attended that, middle school, high school, and college students. Um, so there's an educational focus. There's a raising of awareness of the impact of technology entrepreneurs in our community. Um, there's a component of that as well. And there, there is the networking component so that other like-minded tech entrepreneurs can, can just find each other. Because we heard that from the community, that they needed a way to network and interact with each other. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. it, most of these people are pretty good with social media. Mm -hmm but aren't really good one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> At least that's been my experience with them. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would say that... Um, it, it, Putting it's, them all in the same room, all of a sudden can't. something doesn't work. <laughs> it's true. You know, I think that's true about uh, every, Not, everybody in our society. they while they're standing looking at each that's other. That's right. That's right. I think, um, you know, I, I don't think it's just the tech entrepreneurs. I think um, a lot of folks in our community of, of all ages have um, lost the... Um, 
the ability and the graces to pick up a phone or to invite someone out for a, a cup of coffee face to face. So um, it's somewhat of a lost art. That's why I, I mentioned to you even, mm -hmm. Toastmasters is a wonderful opportunity. Very for good. anybody thinking about going into business, mm -hmm. Toastmasters is a great opportunity because you learn not only the art of speaking, but uh -huh. listening yes. is an important. That's and so leading. Important. And all three of those are the pillars. And it's not only speaking to a large group, but one-on-one. -on -one. Sure. And if you can't do that, yeah. how can you lead? Right. If how you, can you develop a mm -hmm. company if mm -hmm. you can't communicate? Absolutely. Communication is the basic building block of building your company because you have to convince so many people so many times over and, and repeat the message over and over. And um, people have to believe the vision and they have to have trust and faith in the founder. Are there any communications mm -hmm. classes? Um, we have um, communications from the standpoint of marketing classes, so um, developing your marketing plan and understanding how to communicate the value of your product or your okay. service. So from that component, there is. Getting your elevator speech together. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's very important. And you work closely with the Mark Sharp Center? Absolutely. Um, they, um, the Mark Sharp Center actually is the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center. So um, the facility, the ECC, um, if you will, was um, mm -hmm. named in honor of Mark Sharp for his um, contributions during his time. He worked hard to get that going. Yes. And he really, really believes in it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the tech and the entrepreneurs and the EDI2 program, um, that was, that was driven. Mark did a lot of the heavy lifting on that. Let me ask you to now get into the nuts and bolts of it. Sure. I'm sitting here and I'm watching this show. And I'm sitting there and I said, you know, Mabel, I, I've always wanted to take this and make something of it. Mm -hmm. Is this maybe the place I need to go? Absolutely. So Absolutely. What, what does that person do sitting there on their couch? What do they need when they come in mm -hmm. to sit down and talk to you about an idea they have? Sure. Um, certainly, you know, we welcome people. We welcome walk-in traffic to the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center. No appointment needed. Um, certainly an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one consultant um, is recommended, um, but it's not needed. You know, we always try and help everyone that we can immediately. Um, we um, would say, you know, we would, we would take somebody. It sounds like, you know, you're someone with an idea. Hey, I make a, a really great widget, and I think more people would want this widget. So, in that instance, you know, um, it would be about setting up that basic business plan first, and understanding is there going to truly be a market for this product, and okay. and the consultants can help. What, what if I needed help with with patenting this product? Um, sure. So we have um, specialists on staff and throughout the team of the SPDC network that can help. Um, connect you to those resources so that you can patent that widget. Okay, now well. when you say help you with that resources to patent that, uh, immediately as a flag goes up in my brain that says, how much is it gonna cost? Right, so um, our services, our consulting services are, um, are no charge. Okay. Um, but certainly, you know, our, our team isn't, um, we don't actually file the patent, so um, we help connect the client to different resources so that they can find um, you know their correct road into getting that So you might give me patent. three patent attorneys or right. something like right. that? Exactly. And then of course there would be a fee with that, but it doesn't come <laughs> right. to us. So. Right. It goes to the patent <laughs> yeah. I just want to be clear that you know there really is no free lunch. Yeah. Uh, you got to put a lot of work and a lot of effort into Absolutely it to make it happen. Sweat equity. All right. I come in and I talk to you and I think I've got a good business idea. You say, well, maybe you do. Mm -hmm. Now where do I go? Um, well, from that, um, you know, if you've written the business plan, if you... Okay, if I don't have a business plan, now what? First step, right, we will work with you. We have um, a week-long series, um, or it's, we have a compressed series that's a two-day where you can learn about um, creating your business plan. That's the first step. there's no charge for that? No, no. Okay, so no I could go in get assistance in writing the business plan. Yes. And somebody will review it at the end to yes. see that it makes sense? Sure, yes. Okay, Yes. so I've got my business plan now. Is there anybody to assess me and decide whether or not I need to take an entrepreneurial class or I need, to, I need to be able to handle 
my books or? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we have, as I said, you know, nonprofit partners that are there. We have mentors at the facility, and we have the our nonprofit. I, I I don't want to keep going back. Oh, I'm to sorry. That sure. Because sure. that's that's an important facet in a lot of people's minds, sure. and it's the thing that keeps many of you still sitting on the couch. Well, I don't have the money to do this. And nobody's going to do this for free. Mm -hmm. But if I need to do the bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody there that will help me learn QuickBooks Absol or whatever absolutely. and not charge me? Correct. Really? You are correct. Yes. We wow, offer that's we a actually benefit. we actually offer that exact class. We really? offer QuickBooks for free. Um, we do offer it from time to time around the county and in different areas. Certainly you can check in with us at the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center. Give us a call and um, the staff can let you know about the uh, the upcoming classes that are available. It's also available on our website. Oh, so there may be times when, for instance, you might, well, go down to Sun City Center. Correct. Correct. Um, okay. We actually, um, a, a good point to make, that, that brings up a very good point, that our consultants are not just um, located at the Entrepreneur Collaborative Center in Ebor, but we have, um, we have relationships with um, chambers throughout the county. So everywhere from Upper Tampa Bay, Plant City, South Shore, Ruskin, Temple Terrace, um, South Tampa. We have relationships with those chambers where we have a presence there. Um, and certainly we, we also offer classes at local libraries, at our library um, locations, and can come to any um, business location. So we will come to you. So if you're going to do QuickBooks, so it'd be more advantageous to have computers and stuff that you yes. can do it with, correct? Yes. Yeah. I, I guess what I'm thinking is th there's a wonderful computer club there in Sun City Center, oh, okay. in the Sun City Center uh, Association. Uh -huh. That's a lovely classroom with all kind of computers in it. Very good. And they're, I, I, I can't speak for them, and I certainly wouldn't even think of doing it, uh -huh. but many times they do community things and the, the association does, and maybe that would be an ideal place. That's uh, a great idea. Just as a thought. That's a great idea. If I you will. let me know, I'll tell you. To get okay, <laughs> absolutely. I'll get that information. But it, but it may be something of value. And I bring this up because there are probably things in the community that you know about that would make a great resource, a great classroom, where you mm -hmm. could bring it out if you knew it was there. Absolutely. So they should call you and let you know that. Sure, absolutely. Our homeowners association has this wonderful big room, and maybe we could do it there, correct? Yeah, that would be fantastic. We'd love to talk about that. All right, what are some of the other things that I can get for free? <laughs> well, some, I just love well, some that of the other things, thing. I know. Hey, everybody likes free. Um, some of the other things that I, I wanted to share with you um, was also in the Economic Development Department related to small business development. We, um, you know, the county is a three billion dollar enterprise okay we buy a lot I of things put my arms right in i know three, three billion dollars <laughs> um i think last year the number is that we purchased 800 million dollars worth of things and services so um you know part of our goal is also to encourage the utilization of our certified small businesses in those county contracts um, we recently in fact um last week had an event at Mosey called the Open Doors Forum, which we do every year. And um, we welcome minority-owned businesses and small business owners to come and learn about the opportunities that are available in not just county procurements, but we had 10 other governmental agencies there who also have similar programs oh, wow. to help with the utilization. So, you know, I just would like to share with your viewers that um, there are opportunities there and we are proactively seeking to certify more companies um, and it's primarily um, opportunities in construction and related services. How does one get certified? Um, um, well, Aren't you, you called me. I'm that. glad you asked me that. <laughs> uh, we, um, we offer the certification through my department. Um, it's a streamlined process. We have some great staff members who um, very dedicated to increasing the number of certified companies and we'll walk you through this. It's an online application, but we're always there. We're a phone call away to help with, um, with expediting those applications and assisting companies to um, complete them uh, accurately. And now we know how we can do it. Again, what does it benefit the company? Um, it allows the company, when you become a certified 
minority contractor or certified um, small business with the county, it allows you, um, well, first of all, let's start with the small businesses. Um, sometimes in county contracting, they will do an, what we call an SBE, so a small business enterprise set aside. So a portion or an, an entire contract will be set aside for a small business, for example, a janitorial contract. And um, then the only universe of companies that that contract is open to are certified small businesses. So it's a, it's a sheltered market program, if you will. Okay. Um, and for the minority business contractors, our construction contracts and um, certain other contracts that we have, we'll set a, a goal. So we'll say 10% of the total value of this contract will go to minority firms. Okay. But you have to be a certified minority <laughs> firm because we have to you know, pre-verify that the company is actually in that ownership structure and, you know, it, um, the, the value is doesn't exceed a certain um, cap that we have, so that's a, a smaller and minority firm. I assume that firm. varies with the kind of company it is? Um, it actually doesn't. No? For um, minority businesses, our cap is um, $1.5 in um, in value and um, must be at least 51% owned by um, a minority individual. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the county's program, minority does also include women. So that's um, that's another aspect of the program. So the majority becomes a minority. <laughs> 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 I want to say that because where I live out there in Sun City Center, there are a lot more women than there are men. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Y'all live longer. <laughs> it's a retirement community. Oh. All right. So... That is one thing, and of course, we're going to do some work for you, as I understand. Absolutely. We were... Um, I say we, that's Tampa Bay <laughs> Community Network. I was a recent recipient at the last round of EDI2 for um, funding to produce segments um, to help highlight the technology ecosystem in Hillsborough County. So we're very pleased about the application, and the, um, the advisory committee approved the app and um, looking forward to working with your team on that in the future. This station is the only public access station in the entire state of Florida with the lights still on. Hmm. It is just absolutely hmm. a miracle that I it's kept that. going the way it is, mm -hmm. but they do fantastic work. I'm a volunteer here. Yeah. So, I, I have no financial interest yeah. <laughs> one way or the other in it. But the fact is, I watch these people, how hard they work, mm -hmm. and the high quality mm -hmm. that they turn out. And there's a lot of small operations in this county mm -hmm. the same way. Mm -hmm. And many of them don't know what they can get if they just start looking. Right. And you're the place to go to start looking, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. We would love people to come and visit us at the ECC, to check out our website, hillsboroughcounty.org and click on economic development to learn more about all the programs and resources that are available to help our business community. Well, Lindsay Campbell, I thank you for being thank on you. the program. I appreciate the record, it. The economic development here in Hillsborough County. It's been a great opportunity to have you on the show and get off the couch now. Go make the call. You've had the numbers, you have the websites, make the call. You have a great idea, put it to work. Maybe you'll be the next person to develop something really big. And that's what we want to have. You're unique, you're special, you're great. Tell yourself so often because you are, you know. And we'll see you on the next Spotlight on Government. And again, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.